Hello, people of Tube, and welcome back to another video. So, uh, trailers came out for Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, the newest Resident Evil game in, well, the long-running Resident Evil series. Um, I will admit, I was a little skeptical going into it, uh, this new trailer, because at first glances, it just doesn't look Resident Evil. Now, not gonna lie, it looks good. It looks like it's going back to a sort of horror survival route, and I'm glad they're doing that. But at the same time, it looks like they're getting even further away from Resident Evil. It's like they're moving like farther away from the whole zombie feeling and the whole... I, I mean, it looks like they're keeping the whole isolation thing because it looks like you're by yourself and you're being hunted by these sort of redneck people. But it just doesn't feel like Resident Evil. It just doesn't have... It just doesn't feel like it has a limited ammo. Like, it just does not feel right to me. Um, and that's the thing, is when this new demo came out, and I, w I played the demo, I did, on PS4, and I enjoyed it, I'm not going to lie. Um, it had good atmosphere, the, it looks good, the, the graphics are great. Um, some of the scares are actually subtle, they're not jump scares. Uh, one of, and this, I'm actually going to say that this was the best part of it. Um, there was a moment that actually made me go, whoa! Because uh, Resident Evil recently has, certainly does not work on subtlety. Especially since the last two fucking um, 5 and 6 were mostly action games. So for the Resident Evil to do something subtle nowadays, it's pretty shocking. So, but in the demo, you go to walk towards a door and the bad guy, I'm guessing, just walks past the door. It reminded me of something from, like, Silent Hill or Jacob's Ladder, and to me that works because it's not a jump scare. Now, like I said, Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, you know, they had jump scares and shit, and it was all about having limited ammo and being chased by these monsters. And, of course, you know, rawr. But, like I said, this is sort of atmospheric, too. So it's like they took some parts from Silent Hill and included in Resident Evil, which I like. I think that's doing it pretty cool, but... It did not feel, like I said, like Resident Evil. It doesn't seem like there's going to be zombies in this game. In fact, it seems it's going to be more of, like, these weird rednecks and you have to survive. And that's cool because it reminds me of Outlast. But like I said, it doesn't remind me of Resident Evil. And to me, that moves it further away from the series. And it certainly doesn't bring people back to their original concept. Uh, also, the puzzles in... Uh, the demo were way too easy. I feel like Resident Evil puzzles have always been a son of a bitch. Um, if you've played Re Resident Evil 1 and 2, I've always felt like the puzzles were fucking harder than shit. And there's a lot of backtracking. Yeah. Um, now, like I said, I have problems with them. A lot of people think the Resident Evil puzzles are fucking perfect. So if you do, fine with that. I, I don't like Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 puzzles. I always thought they were, they were a bitch. But I don't like the new puzzles either, because they're always easy as fuck. Resident Evil seems to either make something really easy or really fucking hard. Um, and that's one reason I like Silent Hill better. I always thought Silent Hill's puzzles were never too hard to figure out, uh, but they were never too easy either. And I always thought that they'd done their puzzles pretty damn good, at least for the first three games. Uh, but, like I was saying... This new Resident Evil, it doesn't look too horrible, but it doesn't look like Resident Evil. And by moving it away further from the rest of the series, I think they're doing themselves a disservice by pushing the fans even further away. But, like I said, this is something we're going to have to wait to see when it comes out. A lot of people has been, uh, sorry, a lot of people has been speculating uh, about it, saying it could be a prequel to, uh, like, Zero and One, and I actually wouldn't mind that. I think that would be a pretty good way to get back to its horror roots by taking it even further back than Zero did, and that might not be too bad of an option uh, to show how the T-Virus was made, or G or V, whatever fucking virus was in the original games. Honestly, I can't remember. There's a lot of different viruses in that series, so I don't think it would be too bad. It doesn't look like a bad game. So, of course, I'm against pre-ordering, so don't pre-order it. Give it a chance. We'll wait till it comes out and see how it does. So, it doesn't look too horrible, but keep an eye out for it. Now, you can leave. If all you wanted to hear about was Resident Evil, Biohazard 7, whatever, you can leave right now, but make sure you like and subscribe, comment, 
But for the most point on, I do want to talk to you all about Resident Evil in general for me. I don't know if you all had the same experience. Most people don't. I remember being a little boy, and um, my first survival horror game experience was Resident Evil. As much as I love Silent Hill 1, 2, and, you know... 1 and 2, as much as I love Silent Hill and the atmosphere and the series and the stories and the psychological horror and shit, Resident Evil was my first experience in the fucking survival horror genre. I remember the first one really wasn't. It was Resident Evil 2, and I remember it like it was yesterday, my older brother, it was like Christmas, and my mom had bought him a copy of Resident Evil 2. I actually don't remember what I got. That's how fucking... That's how... That, that shows you how much I actually remember from that Christmas. The only thing I really remember was the fact he got Resident Evil 2. Because, uh, I remember him opening it up, and he was excited. I was excited because I had never seen a survival horror game. And he puts in Resident Evil 2. I remember it going to the screen. And it showed the video, and it was like, bum, 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 and... And just shit going down. And then I remember, and this is something I will always remember. The screen comes up, and it goes, Resident Evil 2. And that right there, and it has always stuck with me. That is one thing that has always stuck with me. Um, and even going into Resident Evil 3, I will always remember him saying, Resident Evil, on the menu screens. I love that. It's just, it, to me, it sets the tone for the rest of the game. It is great. I remember um, hearing go Resident Evil 2, and then starting in that starting position, the middle city, and the video beforehand, and the fires around you in the city, and the, just everything's on fire, and the, the destruction, and you have to figure out the tank controls, and you run, and you keep running, and you have to shoot that first zombie, and you go to the gun shop, and the guy has a shotgun trained on you, and Man, nostalgia out the ass. I just remember him fucking playing that game and just... And it was scary. It was, man. I was a little boy watching him play that shit. Fucking jump scares and shit. Got me good. I remember the first time I seen Resident Evil 3. My uh, stepfather actually rented it from uh, Judy Butler. It was a video game store in where we used to live. Um, he rented it. We brought it home. And what happened was, the house I used to live in was a shithole, we had a wood stove, so we all had to crowd in and sleep in the fucking uh, living room when the winter came and it was bullshit. So, uh, I was laying on the floor, on my little makeshift bed, and um, he put in Resident Evil 3, of course the video with all this exciting imagery, and then... Resident Evil, and as soon as I heard Resident Evil, I fucking hit under the covers, because I knew what was coming. Watching him play, and of course, like Resident Evil 2, it starts off, and we got our zombies, and we got our running. Man, I will always remember this shit. The first time you see Nemesis when he busts through, the, the, the first time I remember seeing Nemesis, because I actually stopped paying attention for a little bit, was when he busts through the walls at the police station. Dude, I almost shit my pants. Everyone, I almost shit my pants. When he busts through the walls of the police station, I almost shit my pants. As a little kid, I almost shit my pants. Because, oh my god, fucking the wall burst through and Nemesis is there, and you can't kill him. He's like the last fucking boss of the game at the beginning, and you can't do shit about it. It was bullshit. I, I'll always remember that, like... God damn, I always remember Nemesis being a prick and always following you. Cat and mouse game in that game. God damn it. And of course, I remember uh, when Resident Evil 5. I will admit, Resident Evil 4, uh, my brother played. I didn't really watch him play it. That one came out at a weird time when I really wasn't interested in the series anymore. But Resident Evil, and I know everyone loves Resident Evil 4. I don't have the same love for Resident Evil 4 a lot of people do. Because, honestly, I still haven't really played it. Because I went from, like, Resident Evil 2 and 3 to 5. So, playing Resident Evil 5, when it first came out with my brother, was great. Because it was a co-op experience. We got to upgrade our guns. And we both knew the story was shit. We both knew the story sucked. 
and everything in the game sucked, but we loved playing it because it was a great co-op game with costumes to open care. I mean, obviously they had moved far away from the horror element, but it was still a fun game. Uh, of course, Resident Evil 6 came out, and I um, actually didn't play that one at all until much later, and I actually picked it up for $3 off Amazon. And I played it by myself, and it fucking sucked. So, yeah, there's nothing really memorable with that game, other than it fucking sucked. So, yeah, let's hope that this Resident Evil game is really good, because honestly, I would like to feel like a kid again. I want to go back to the point where I'm just like, Jesus Christ, I want, nim I want something to scare me again. I want there to be a, ne I mean, not nemesis in general, but I want there to be like another nemesis. I want there to be the the isolation of part two and just the desperation you felt playing two where you needed more ammo and of course the cat and mouse game with nemesis and three i want to feel that again i want to feel what true horror was like i said resident evil one two and three felt like true horror and i hope this one does it right uh, now, I want to make a separate video talking about my experiences with Silent Hill. I'm going to do that another time. But like, and Silent Hill 1 2, don't get me wrong, true fucking horror. Love them more than any Resident Evil. But like I said, Resident Evil right here. Our little boy, nostalgia. So, hope you enjoyed this. Peace the fuck out. Make sure you like and subscribe.